What's up? So what we're going to be working on here is a very, very important tie-in to our lower body development as well as it connects to our whole body. Now this is called a unilateral hip extension. So what happens here is we become very proficient with our quadriceps and these things start to misfire incorrectly. This becomes dominant and this becomes tight or this becomes weak yet it's supposed to be a very powerful and supportive uh, muscle group that does a lot of initiation with everything that we do that involves bending and flexing. So what we want to do is create balance by training, targeting these areas, but having them fire appropriately. So sometimes doing hamstring to deal with a hamstring issue is going to make things worse. We need to ensure that the sequence is proper, this is going to do that. So very healthy, very important, you run better, walk better, stand better be more effective as an athlete, all right? So with that said here, you're gonna be on your bench. My wife will tell me, is my stomach showing? <laughs> all right, cut phase, give me some time. Okay, so you're gonna be down here in this position here. Glutes will be touching the ground, hands will be out, back will be resting on the top of the bench. And so the only thing I'll ask before I start showing you is that when you're up here, you want this knee here to be 90 degrees. So you don't want it here. You don't want it out here because you want it at 90, all right? So what you're gonna do is, to initiate the movement, you want to think it happening in the glutes. You'll feel some activation here, don't worry about it. You want to think about going into extension to the glutes first and then let the tines come in as secondary movers. Let your head fall on your torso. Glutes, let those glutes fire. Three, four, okay. Show you on the other side. One, glutes. Two, three. Let's go again. Let's do this. 